both dry operator and dry owner, continues to be profitable in a healthy dry cargo market. However, the value created by these business units was overshadowed by a tanker market that faced severe headwinds. On the back of this, the adjusted result for third quarter amounted to minus $12 million, corresponding to an EBIT result of minus $7 million. Despite the poor result, there are some positive signs. Cash flow from operations amounted to $5 million, an improvement of $21 million compared to the same period last year. Norton's financial position also continues to be solid, with cash and securities amounting to $165 million and undrawn credit facilities of close to $190 million. But what perhaps is an even better sign of Norton moving in the right direction is the fact the dry operator continues to demonstrate an agile approach to ever-changing market conditions and the ability to be profitable. During the third quarter, dry operator decided to go for a more cautious approach than last year. In 2017, focus was on chartering in a large number of vessels and positioning these towards the North American grain season. This year, trade tensions made it less attractive to charter in vessels, which also were quite expensive. Instead, Focus was on interbasin employment of the vessels. And this approach proved to be right. The adjusted result amounted to $2 million, and in total, Dry Operator has now, over the last four quarters, generated a contribution margin of $66 million and an adjusted result of $27 million. Furthermore, Dry Operator did not just focus on making the most out of third quarter, but was equally occupied with protecting positions that will generate value in the fourth quarter. Therefore, we expect the dry operator result in the fourth quarter to be significantly higher than in the third quarter. Dry owner is also continuing to benefit from the relatively healthy market conditions. The average earnings for Supermax vessels was 25% higher in the third quarter this year compared to the same period in 2017, while Panamax rates were 20% higher. The adjusted result for dry owner amounted to $4 million corresponding to an EBIT result of $8 million. Besides focusing the fleet further on Supermax and Panamax vessels, Dry Owner used the third quarter to increase cover at fixed market rates and is now covered 100% for the next six months. We still expect a healthy dry cargo market in 2019, leaving the short-term exposure to be managed by the dry operator, while Dry Owner will benefit from locked-in revenue. In tankers, we have also reduced our exposure to a market that has not been worse since the third quarter of 2009. Recent years, strong deliveries and weak demand growth has led to a sizable overcapacity of tankers. This along with a product tanker market that currently is facing a decline in tanker demand have resulted in the worst market conditions in almost a decade. A key driver of the lower demand has been the increasing oil price, which has led to declining product imports in Asia, South America and the Middle East. On top of that, product tankers also face competition from crude tankers due to low rates in that segment. Average earnings for the MR fleet was $10,300 per day, while handy-sized vessels generated earnings of just $9,000. In total, the adjusted result for tankers amounted to a depressing minus $18 million. The market did, however, offer some opportunities. In the third quarter, paired rates were not aligned with spot rates, and Norton utilized this gap to cover part of our exposure for the next six months. With 38% of MR capacity covered for the fourth quarter of 2018 at $12,300 per day, Norton expects the tanker result to improve compared to the third quarter result. The foundation for an improving market is also in place. While high oil prices continue to dampen oil demand growth, normal seasonality mean the rates are expected to improve in the fourth quarter, albeit still at relatively low levels. And looking into 2019, we expect a gradual market recovery. Additions to refinery capacity, lower fleet growth and a better crude tanker market is together with the new IMO sulfur regulation coming into force in 2020 expected to support demand in the second half of 2019. Here now, profit from dry operator and dry owner are expected to make up for the weak tanker market and therefore Norton maintained the overall guidance for 2018. And looking further ahead, an agile dry operator building a track record of profitability, a dry owner 
making the most of a healthy dry cargo market and a large modern and well-positioned product tanker fleet sets the course for improvements. Thank you for watching.